A recent report from the CDC indicates that asthma in the United States is on the rise. In 2010, almost 19 million American adults suffered from the wheezing and discomfort of asthma, a 15% increase since the year 2000. According to the report, the total estimated societal cost of asthma in 2007 was $56 billion, including medical expenses, of $50 billion, missed school or work days at $3.8 billion, and premature death accounting for an additional $2.1 billion. Ed Newsel, registered nurse practitioner at Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center, explains how asthma presents and how it's treated. One of the first things if somebody's having any of the respiratory symptoms, because to have asthma, you don't have to have wheezing. There can be coughing, there can just be a little short of breath. So asthma doesn't always present as tightness in the chest or wheezing. So for that patient that does come in and have wheezing, then we do spirometry to look at their pulmonary functions. And then we will give them a short acting bronchodilator. And if they respond to it and their airways actually reverse within a certain percentage, then that's diagnostic of asthma. And there are certain guidelines that we look at for that. When we look at IgE, IgE is immunoglobulin E, and that's something that's produced by the body. Now, we have substances around us all the time that our body's exposed to. If our body then develops this IgE, we develop this allergy to this substance. And we use cat a lot as you know, an example. If you're exposed to cat and your body develops this IgE, your immune system develops this IgE, when you become exposed to cat, it can trigger your allergy or asthma type symptoms. It's an allergy related hypersensitivity to some of the substances that we're exposed to every day. Now there is a medication that is available to help block the IgE for those who have allergic asthma. So we have um, what they call Zolaire, which is an anti-IgE medication that we give here in the office for those people that qualify. Now they have to have a certain level of IgE. They have to have uh, what they call perennial allergies, and they have to have pulmonary functions that qualify. But in those particular cases, we actually give a medication that can help block some of that IgE so that now when you're exposed, um, your chances of actually having a reaction are reduced. The Allergy, Sinus, and Asthma Family Health Center is located right across the golf cart bridge in the villages. You'll find this story and contact information by clicking the Asthma Rates Rise story link at yourhometownhealth.com.